the isolation and daunting terrain of parts of Alaska are a backdrop to its aura of mystery. But here are some very real experiences of eerie unexplained phenomena in that remotest US state. Number five, Iditarod Trail. Every March, dog sled racers, also called mushers, compete in the Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race. This gruelling race covers some very tough Alaskan terrain, including several ghost towns. During the race, mushers have reported seeing and experiencing strange phenomena, as described by Anchorage Daily News writer Jill Berg. She quotes one musher, Dee Dee Jonro, who on one occasion encountered a time-warp encampment of strange, old-timey looking characters wrapped in blankets and wolf skins, while their ghost town clattered with the noise of fire pokes and slamming doors as miners milled around, their arms heavy with gold weights and scales. The miners' hostile looks drove her away from the eerie apparition. One area along the Iditarod Trail is that Ormush's dread is called the old woman after its mountain and a possible former inhabitant of its cabin who seems to still linger there. Mushers often leave food or other gifts to placate the old woman's spirit or according to local legend she will pursue you all the way to the final stop of the trail. Didi Jomro vows that the spirit presence can lull a competitor into staying destroying the race strategy. The spirit seems to crave company in a remote home with another musher claiming that something seized him by the shoulder as he passed near the old woman's mountain. When staying in the cabin, human humming of an eerie tune has been heard. Number four, creepy creatures. Inuit legends refer to a huge wolf-like evil spirit of the Nahani Valley that slays people by biting off their heads. The so-called Headless Valley is in Canada but his deadly resident has been seen in Alaska by an American mechanic who characterized it as a wolf on steroids. The crew of the American TV show Alaska Monsters also reported a close encounter with the terrifying creature. Cryptozoologists theorize that the saber wolves could be a remnant colony of dire wolves or even the ferocious prehistoric bear dogs. Another eerie prehistoric creature is Kodiak Island's sea beast. Multiple eyewitness reports from credible fishermen over the years describe a creature 30 foot long with a head like a horse and blowholes for nostrils. It has been seen as recently as 2002 and lives in the open ocean, so the location of its lair remains a mystery. Bigfoot sightings also abound in America's least densely populated state with its vast wilderness. An extensive survey of Alaskan Bigfoot encounters has included intriguing reports of a pregnant Sasquatch, huge hairy bipeds who swim using a frog motion, a Bigfoot who had learned to use a knife, and whole villages that have relocated to avoid conflicts with the creatures. Number three. Kennecott Mines. The Kennecott Copper Mine outside of McCarthy, Alaska was a thriving venture until abandonment of the area's railroad due to the high cost of continually repositioning it across a nearby glacier. Many lives have been lost during construction of the railroad and with its closure in 1938, the mining camp became literally a ghost town. Multiple hauntings began in the area such as tombstones emerging and then disappearing along hiking tracks. Disembodied voices of wailing adults and crying children. Phantom apparitions and poltergeist disturbances. The spectral phenomena were so intense as to drive away state government construction workers attempting to redevelop the area for government housing projects in the 1990s. The angry ghosts were even blatantly stealing workers' tools right out of their belts and toolboxes. Number 2. Baranoff Castle Alaska was previously a Russian colony and was purchased from the Russian Empire by the US in 1867. Official transfer of the territory 
was enacted at Baranoff Castle in Sitka, Alaska. Prior to that historic signing, Russian governors had occupied the site since 1804. Over the years, reports of a mysterious mournful ghost of a woman in dark clothing walking the surrounding hills had become a local legend. The woman was thought to be a Russian aristocrat who had taken her own life on a wedding night after being forced to marry a man she did not love. Now known as Castle Hill, the site is a tourist attraction and experiences regular sightings of the so-called Lady in Blue, who sometimes wears black and also haunts the nearby Russian bishop's house. Number 1. Chasing UFOs In 1986, a Japanese airliner flying to Anchorage from Iceland was followed by three UFOs for nearly 400 miles above the Alaskan wilderness and right through the middle of the ominous Alaska Triangle. One of the vessels, described as twice the size of an aircraft carrier, seemed a kind of mothership, while two smaller objects with panels of flashing lights darted about at one point directly in front of the cockpit. The pilots were authorised by traffic air controllers in Anchorage to attempt evasive manoeuvres to avoid the UFOs. But the strange craft were highly agile and maintained pursuit for over half an hour, not retreating until the plane approached Fairbanks. 